Hey guys, welcome to the Dig Bush Show, the show where I pay porn stars to not have sex with each other. Today I'm joined by the lovely Kiki Minaj. Hi. How's it going, Kiki? It's going great. Awesome. Well, um, today I thought we could do something a little bit different and we could get to know you whilst doing a fun activity. Cool, so what are we going to be doing? Well, I've been to the bank and gotten out a rather sizable amount of cash and we're going to be involved in a drug deal. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, in the uh, building over here uh, are several gentlemen with a lot of cocaine and we're going to purchase that from them and then distribute it uh, to the druggies in town and see if we can make a profit. Okay, so like Apprentice. Yes, Kiki. Okay. It's just like The Apprentice. Um, right, if we head inside. Uh, Bruce, keep the engine running, buddy, because I think we're going to be making a rather sharp exit. <laughs> no worries, mate. See you in a bit. <laughs> right, let's take a look at what we've got coming up on the show. <laughs> on sports day, which was the worst race? Chinese. Wow. Right, we are just about to meet the guys with the narcotics. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I've read online, Kiki, during a drug deal, we have to remain calm and collected and look professional. But what about the camera? Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, you must be the uh, drug guys. Um, I'm Dick, and uh, this is Kiki. Hi. And we have a shitload of cash. <laughs> What's the fuck with that camera? Oh. Um. Yeah, it's for my internet show. Um, it's called The Dick Bush Show. It features porn stars like Kiki. Hi. And um, yeah, it's just a bit of fun, comedy sketches, things like that. There's no fucking way you're showing our faces on the screen. Fine. Yep, no problem. We can blur your faces. There you go. It'll be like one of those Vice documentaries. That sounds quite cool. Shut up, Larry! Right, well, maybe we should get on with the sponge. Show me your merchandise! I want to see your wares. Whatever. Larry. So, Kiki, um, is this your first drug deal? No comments. <laughs> yeah. Right, yes. The money. Up the money. I spent it all on making this show. I had to improvise. Quick, grab a gun. Put them fucking down and we will fucking kill you. No, you put your guns down and give us the fucking drugs. Nobody calls it drugs, you posh wanker. Shut up, Larry. Yeah, Larry. Fuck you. Okay, that, that got a little bit out of hand. Uh, we'll be right back after this. My name is Zap Harrington. I never believed in ghosts until I was raped by one. Now I've dedicated my life to proving that it was a spirit that abused me and not my uncle as everyone suspects. Joining me on my quest is my uncle Trevor because he owns a video camera and a beautiful escort that I've paid to pretend to be my friend. Welcome to Ghost Inventions. We're at the home of Amber here, um, who's got a pretty bizarre suspected haunting. Mm -hmm. Amber, mm -hmm. um, tell us about this haunting. Okay, well, um, it's been going on for about six months now. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, Uncle Trev, can you, that's a bit close, can you just come over here, just film like all of us? Um, yeah, so six months, that's quite a long time. Mm. Um, and what kind of disturbances 
are we talking about here? Um, really strange noises in the night, shadowy figures, and I don't know, it's just this really intense feeling of dread. Mm. Yeah. That sounds tough. It's really fun. Um, yeah, so, um, and I guess you could experience these disturbances wherever you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, well, due to the, like, really strange nature of the haunting, yeah, just anywhere, really. And so what exactly is it you think is haunted? It's my vagina. Yeah, my vagina is haunted. Oh. As the disturbances usually happen at night, we closed the curtains and turned off the lights to trick the ghosts into thinking it was bedtime. Amber's haunted lady parts were ready for bed and our equipment was set to record everything. Right, mm. Amber, just chill okay don't worry about anything we're going to check our equipment see what we can find out okay oh oh god can you feel that i feel like no i feel really queasy although that could just be because of my proximity to a vagina mm. i'm not picking up any cold spots if anything it's coming across pretty warm mm. quick nipple test No, nothing. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Would you like to feel my nipples at? Uh, no. Ooh. No. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, right. Uh, maybe we should delve a little deeper if I maybe just open this up. Should I? Yeah, open? I think so. Let's... Oh my god, it must be some kind of malevolent spirit. I have not shaved. That's why. Okay, calm your shit. Shit. Fine. I thought that was I thought that was it. I thought there was like something was just gonna come. Calm down. I've not shaved either. Okay, we don't want to see it. Okay, Honor, let's try this spirit box. See if we can communicate. I'm speaking now to the entity inside of this vagina. If you can hear me, tell us what you want. Fish cakes. Pizza! It said pizza! Oh my god, it was as clear as day. It said pizza. We literally just asked the box what it wanted and it said pizza. If we get a little replay on that. Artichokes. Pizza! It said pizza! Oh my god, it was as clear as day. It said pizza. We literally just asked the box what it wanted and it said pizza. See, pizza, it said pizza. Let's, let's do it, just rewind, you rewind. Thimble dicks. Yeah, pizza, right, right there, right it's there. pizza, mm -hmm. it wants pizza. I can actually Yeah, me too, is there a Domino's near here? Yeah, it's just not. Nice. Uh, guys, guys, <laughs> I think we should really stay here, have a lockdown, really investigate what's uh -huh. going on. Actually, Zach, I it is night time. I think perhaps you should strip off into a night time. No, I'm not going to do that. Anything can happen at night. It's a magical time. Honor and I spent the night underneath Amber's duvet as she slept. Despite Uncle Trevor's insistence on joining us, I made him stay downstairs monitoring everything. Right, uh, we are now in lockdown. This is where we stay here for the entire night and we try to capture something paranormal. Oh. Did you hear that? Yeah, um, maybe we should get a little bit closer. Hold on. Hey. Uh, I'm talking now to the entity inside Amber's vagina. If you can hear me, please make yourself known. Does that count? Not sure. Was it from the front or the back? Can't smell anything. Yeah, but maybe she just has nice farts. Look, Zach, I don't want to break character and all, but are we actually going to stay here all night? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that was kind of the idea. Is that okay? I mean, I can pay you more. I'm just not really sure it's worth my time. You know, this is getting a bit weird. Uh, most of my clients just want to, you know, fuck me or blowjob, kind of not, you know, just suck you off and get out of here. Um, 
really bored. Oh. oh. Look, it's 4 p.m. I'm not even remotely sleepy. Can't we just put on a show for you or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we can look. just put on a show. Look, look at this. This is really hot. Look, oh, look. babies. Mm. Like no, no, like no, that? no. Go back to sleep. I have to investigate your haunted pussy. <laughs> oh, it's not haunted. For God's sake, you just pay me to say that. Do you not want to feel our tits? Yeah, that's a great idea. Look at these boobies. I feel really nice. I think that's better. Mm. And a hug. Mm. Um, uh, okay. Come here. So alright. It's all gonna be okay. There's no ghosts. Nothing's going to be <gasps> Oh my god, there is something outside this duvet. <gasps> walking it. towards us. Just nobody panic. Nobody panic. panic. Oh my god, something's touching me! Something's touching me! There is something right behind me. I was feeling lonely. It was at that moment when the girls insisted on leaving, and there was no way in hell I was being left alone with my uncle in that house. Despite the setbacks, I feel I am one step closer to gaining proof of the supernatural. Guys, right, so you join us back in a bit of a pickle, middle of a gangster gunfight over here. Um, Vicky, we have a few questions from some of my Patreon supporters. Hope you don't mind answering a few of them. Uh, this one comes from R5Hole, who's one of my Patreon supporters, who's an absolute G tier. So shout out to R5Hole. Shout out R5Hole, you absolute G. That's it. He asked, who's given you the best fuck on set? Oh, on set, I would have to think, I would say, possibly Danny D. Wow. Uh, what's the wildest stuff you've done outside of set? Shagging very old women, oh, but wow. not old women so they look horrible old, sexy old women. That sounds confusing. And what freaky stuff are you into, he also asks. Shagging old women with other old women. And more old women. Right, Brandon asks, is a hot dog a sandwich? No, it's not a sandwich. Sorry, Brandon. Uh, and what was your ultimate scene? My ultimate scene was I played a girl called Lifeline from a game called Apex Legends. I was a superhero in real life. I'm a superhero anyway, because that just made it more fun. Nice. Uh, he also asked, how much do you appreciate working with the great Dick Bush? Thanks oh for my question, God, Brandon. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. Obviously. Like, obviously. I feel like I'm in fucking Kill Bill right now. And like Quinton? No. <laughs> Uh, Boris asks, how often do you masturbate? Boris needs to worry about one in this fucking country and not worry about what I do at night time. Fair enough. He also asks, have you ever masturbated to your own scenes? Never! Ooh, Kiki Minaj, no way! <laughs> okay, thanks for those questions, guys. You You're can welcome. ask Pornstar's questions too by joining my Patreon. Hey, nameless gangster. Like the red shirt in Star Trek, come here. Take these, get out of here. We'll finish these fuckers off. Well, while we're holding these guys off, I think we should you play said, a I game. I know you're trying I... to make your game show and all that, but I really think we should get the fuck out of here ASAP. Well, yeah, but we came for those drugs. <gasps> I had a whole section plan where we stand on street corners selling it. It's, it's gonna be great. You are messed up. You, are you flirting with me? No. Look, I just feel like we should embrace the gunfight, you know? Have fun with it. It does feel good shooting people, but... That's the spirit. Now, how about we kill everyone in this place and go get our drugs? Okay. You head over there, I'm gonna sneak round to the right. Fucking yes! Drop it, lady. Oh. Fuck! Shit, shit! 
We'll be right back. Not too busy today, hmm? No, seems a little slow. Maybe we could do that thing we always talked about doing? <laughs> I think it would be utterly disrespectful. Oh, come on! We haven't had sex in ages. It would be fun. Doing it in the shop, knowing that someone could walk in at any time. For God's sake, Patricia, are you just sex mad or something? What is wrong with you? No, I just think we need to spice things up a little, Roger. Our marriage, it's, it's falling apart. Our marriage is perfectly fine. It's perfectly dull. A life with no drama suits me just fine. Look, I need to get to the bank. We'll talk about this when I get back. <sighs> Jesus, does he not understand that a lack of sex can seriously mess with a woman's mind? <sighs> oh. <sighs> uh, anything I can help you with? <laughs> um, do you have any melons? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I have the most amazing melons. <laughs> oh, really? How will I know if they're ripe? Well, you just need to give them a squeeze and find out. <laughs> Look, I just want to be sure, but you are coming on to me right now, aren't you? Yes, I am, but I have to say, asking has kind of killed the mood a little. I can absolutely appreciate that. Uh, it's just in this current climate, it's better to ask than just grab. Oh, of course, I, I get it. It's for the best. It's just sometimes I want to be grabbed, you know? Yeah, so something spur of the moment. Exactly. My husband isn't exactly giving it to me. Oh my god, you, you're married? Well, yes, but do you care? Well, it's not ideal. Getting things out in the open like this is kind of a mood killer, right? It really is. But still, I want you. He won't be back for ages. <laughs> but he will come back. Are, are you kidding? No, why? Do you, you seriously think I'm going to just fuck you when your husband could come back at any minute? I don't even know you or him. He could be a complete psycho. He does get awfully angry. <laughs> Oh my god, I, look, I think I should just leave. Wait, please. I need it. You, you don't understand. I, I need it. Just touch me. Go on, touch my tits. Oh my god, this, this is so wrong. You're a complete crazy bitch. I am, but uh, the crazy ones, well, we're always worth it. Oh god, I'm not so sure about that. Mm. Tickets to Tenerife. It was gonna be a surprise. Oh my god! Roger! Well, I think I should leave. Roger, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I can work this out, I promise. It's over, right? Roger. We're, we're done. Roger, please stop, Roger. Fuck you. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, I'll just go. How could you do this, Patricia? What, what is wrong with you? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, I'm sorry, Roger. I, I love you. Please don't leave. Please don't leave me. If you want this bag of drugs back, you'll let her go! You are outgunned and outmatched. Now drop your gun and step out. And stop calling it drugs. It's weird, nobody does that. Fuck. I step out, I'm dead for sure. I mean, I guess I could just leave her. I mean, I have got the drugs. Leave? You can't leave Kiki like that. You have to do something, even if it means giving up the drugs. But selling these narcotics at an overpriced value to stressed out businessmen and actors is the only way I'm going to get out of the debt I'm in after paying for the show. You have to do what's right. 
What's right? Don't listen to her. Do what's right for you. You'll make a shitload of cash. Enough for a second series or a short film or two. Oh, well, I would like to make a short film. But can I just leave Kiki to die? Is she in any upcoming projects you're on? Well, no, but... Well, then fuck her. I think she kind of liked you, Doug. Really? Yes, she was definitely flirting with you. If you save her, you'll definitely get to kiss her. Well, that does sound good. All right, time to kick some drug dealer body. Let's get out of here, together. I don't think so. Dick. Fuck. We'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm Danny D, obviously. Now if you've noticed that your home office has started to smell a little stale because of constant masturbation, it's a tip. Take a glass, add some pineapple juice. When? <laughs> add a nice good dollop of toothpaste. Whew. Just right. Now what you want to do is grab some cologne. Give it a liberal pour. Then you want to stir this up nice. and ingest. Ah. Now your seminal juices will give off a very distinct scent. Oh. Oh, yeah. See you next time on Just the Tip. Can someone get a rack? He is out of his mind. As soon as we're in range, I have to contact head office and get him removed. Computer. Generate seven or eight huge male black bears. Increase penis size by 700%. Give them sentience so they've got the ability to speak and understand English and make them very very lustful. Disengage safety protocols and run program. Oh, number one, the holodeck is all yours. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, okay. Captain's log, additional. Never mess with anybody who's hit rock bottom. Well, it seems like your show has come to an end, D. 
Dick Bush. Any last words? Well, there is this bit in every show that I do where I ask my guests some quickfire personal questions. All right, go on in. Great. Kiki, these are your personal questions. I really don't feel like answering right now. In your opinion, on sports day, which was the worst race? Chinese. Wow. Um, okay. What was the worst Christmas present you ever got from your granddad as a child? A picture of their penis, their balls had bumps on it. If you could hunt and kill anything, what would it be? A unicorn. Okay. What's the worst thing you could ever use to wipe your ass after a heavy crap? At first I thought it was a toilet brush, but then I realised it was a baseball bat with a GoPro. Do you think it's strange how very young children always need looking after and feeding? Yeah, just like the babies with the nappies and feeding from bottles and dummies, it's just weird. Very weird, weirder than this. Thanks, Kiki. Those were your personal questions. All right, ready? Okay. I guess um, that's the uh, end of the show, guys. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Take it away, gangsters. yippee ki yay motherfuckers! You! <laughs>Catch you losers at a bad time. Bruce, you beautiful furry bastard. Great job. Well, looks like we got the drugs. And I got the girl too. What? Wait a second. You think just because we were in a gunfight together, you're gonna get to kiss me at the end? Yeah. No, mate, you almost got me motherfucking killed. But Bruce here, Bruce has saved my motherfucking life. No worries, darling. I would risk my tiny body any day for you. Come here, Bruce. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, okay, well, uh, that's about all the time we've got. Um, see you next time. You know what, guys? I think I'm just gonna leave you guys to it. All right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my circle. That's my circle. Yeah. Remember to like and subscribe.